It's currently 11 o'clock. I just got done getting ready. I wanted to do a little get ready with me today. I filmed a little TikTok get ready with me for this brand called Pumi. This top is from Pumi. If you haven't seen me before, hi, my name is Bree. I just looked at my room and I low key want to like switch it all around. Currently my bed is right here, but I was thinking what if I put my bed right here and then put the dresser over here and my desk over there where the light is because i'm like okay i'm getting ready today but now i have to like set up here on my bed so i can catch the light coming in so i was just thinking that i'm like should i switch my room around for me to have this epiphany on a tuesday it's like you i probably wouldn't even be able to actually do it until like saturday we're gonna get some food now we're gonna go get some food. So put that in here. Put that one in here too. <laughs> Braylon, like what if I put the bed right here? That's where we used to have your bed right here. Basically reversed. So I can have, I don't know. It's just something about eating the food on the second day. Like the seasoning then set, settled in to the food. I had made some banana pancakes yesterday. Why they taste 10 times better today than they did yesterday? So good. 10 on 10. finished rearranging my room and I need to wipe down like all my surfaces and all that stuff I noticed that on top of my dresser it's a little dusty on my desk it's a little dusty so that's something that I'll have to get to I didn't think I was gonna be rearranging my room today but I just had the the notion to do that I knew that if I didn't do it today I probably would have said never mind and changed my mind about doing it another reason why i was like you know what let me just go ahead and do it is because my bed was against this window right here when i would go to sleep at night it would be very cold in here and it would be straight coming straight to my head my sister suggested that i buy a tapestry so i might buy one yeah i'm really happy how it came out and it looks really nice like that there. except for that that's a little bit of an eyesore okay guys get ready with me i watched just died okay i'm gonna try to talk as loud as i can my little one is currently sleeping and i do not want to wake her up if i was scrolling through tiktok and i saw all the stuff going on with hurricane milton and it's an eye opener i feel like tiktok gives you larger perspective of life because you get to see different points of views like not everyone has running water not everyone has heat on in their homes some people's houses just got destroyed some people have lost their lives it's just very important to be grateful for what you do have i pray that everyone is protected and makes it 
to their destinations safely. I don't know what look I want to go for today. So I think I'm just gonna kind of wing it and go with the flow. I have a few topics here that I want to kind of talk about. I'm gonna start off with some unpopular opinions. Okay, the first unpopular opinion is like social media drama. Right now, what is going around the internet is well, on my side of the internet, everyone has just got wind that DDG and Hallie are no longer together. And everyone like has their opinions on who did this and whatever about the relationship. I'm not gonna get too much into it. Like I don't like the fact that we even know that they're not together anymore and like the fact that Anyway, I'm not gonna get into it, but my thoughts on like social media drama gives you the opportunity to have a say in someone else's business and it's kind of like a bittersweet thing because it's, I would say like the positive side of it is like you can learn from someone else's mistakes, but the other side of it is that everyone thinks that they have, they're in the relationship too. Like everyone feels like they're in the relationship. They feel like they're Hallie, they feel like they're DDG. And of course you have the people who support them like batting, battling against each other. And that is just like, bruh. Like, it's just a learning lesson for both parties. I don't have anything to say about the actual, like how it happened and you know what he's doing what she's doing i don't have i don't have any comments about that you know that's really none of my business and i think it's just important that um when it comes to that to be reminded that that is someone else's life these are two people who are going through their own experiences and um they're learning just like how we all are so both people should be given grace in a sense i guess that's the word that i could use no one's perfect balance is key and maybe don't forget about your own life and figure out what you can do take that experience take their experience and implement that into your life and figure out what you want to do and what you don't want to do based off of their experience and that's an unpopular opinion no one asked for me to say that no one so take it leave it put it in your mouth eat it was, okay. i was thinking about condiments mustard is such it's such an underrated condiment because it tastes so good like it tastes good on your chicken nuggets what does it taste good it tastes good on burgers all of that type of stuff Ooh. Y'all, I got this in my hair. I really do enjoy mustard. To all my mustard people, I'm right here with you. I'm gonna do some concealer. Lately, I've been doing it here and here. I used to just go like that, but like I think that this is better. And I don't like to use a lot of concealer, so I might blend this out a lot, but that's what I've been doing. I saw Makeup by Ariel. Ariel. Um, Kylie Jenner's makeup artist do that, so I just thought that I would do that. Oh, I guess I should be saying what I'm using. For my brows, I used the Wow Brow by e.l.f. and Brunette on my eyebrows. Just like, you know, spruce them up. It's like a gel and a color at the same time, which is really nice. And then I put this Halo Glow Liquid Filter by elf one in the shade two fair slash light i am an elf fan i do like elf products they're very inexpensive and the quality is on 10. i'm not at that stage in my life where i am buying like expensive makeup products yet there is this one thing i want to try it's called this lip liner Too Faced lip liner lip injection lip liner because i have this this plumper i had this plumper by maybelline and it makes my lips burn um to the point where it makes them plump which i really like i saw the lip liner one of the girls i watch here on youtube her name is asleah williams she uses that 
and it looks so good whenever she uses it so I want to use that you can visibly tell that I am still a beginner because I don't really like the huge okay I don't like the way that concealer like you know when it's like so bright under your eyes I don't like the way that looks so I try to blend it in as much as possible girl what you put it on for I don't know I'm just having fun liquid halo glow filter I really like it because it makes it gives me like a little a natural highlight so I don't even have to put highlighter on lately I've been in the contour and bronzer for contour you go right on your bone under here and then on top as well try not to get too close to my hair because i'm wearing a wig and i don't want to dye my lace it's like right there it's fine it's just so fun like that's why i've been wanting to get into makeup because i love watching people do their makeup i'm still learning the brushes here are my brushes i'm going to use this brush is kind of like a slant and i think that's my eye my contact was hurting i probably shouldn't have touched it because i've been in makeup but anyway i just go like this first it makes like a subtle difference but like you just know how it would look if you didn't have it on you know talked about something that was underrated now let's talk about let's talk about something that's overrated which is Coraline. Coraline is such a good movie well everyone's watching it now just in time I'm very excited for the fall vibes don't get me wrong okay my sister is singing um, the I'm gonna have to text her real quick you see how it gave me like that kind of tan kind of look I am all oh, I'm gonna warm myself back up with this buttermilk bronzer the thing is about Coraline it was like I mean it's like overrated but in a good way because it's like getting the recognition that it deserves right now I'm currently watching Love Island season 5 because I watched Love Island season <laughs> because I'm watching because I um, watched Love Island season 6 and that was the first seat that was the first Love Island that I've ever watched in season five is really good um if you know you know I know how to feel about like anna and cassie like i know that anna was mad that cassie did that to her as far as um what's the name leo but it's love island babes like why are you getting mad that they're kissing each other right after you was like um i want nothing to do with you i i get why she was upset when they were talking upstairs and they're like flirting with each other i get that part but what i don't get is the fact that she got upset that they were still flirting with each other after she was like okay i don't want to be in a couple with leo anymore like anna why are you mad that they're trying to gain a relationship with each other after you said that you didn't want to be friends with her no more and after um you said you didn't want to be in a couple with leo anymore like just because y'all are in a couple doesn't mean that he has to owe you just because he is in a couple with you oh just because he's in a couple with you don't mean that he can kiss another girl like this is love island like you know what i'm saying and she was like you know y'all didn't have enough self-control to wait until we weren't in a couple anymore and you literally said you didn't want to be with him anymore so he's gonna move on to who you want to be with like this is love island babes like if it was the real if, if this was real life I, I get that but this is love island y'all are all dating the same people i just used the elf camo liquid blush in p 
pinky promise update i don't know if you could tell but the camera quality compared to my last video compared to this video i played around with my settings and i figured out that i was filming in a lower frame rate also speaking of cameras i did a thing and it's coming soon right now i'm going in with my qic freckle pin that i got from walmart but they also have this one tiktok shop for only just a few dollars i've been wanting to wake up early i've been having a hard time doing that i feel like i had to allow myself that time to kind of just relax and just be a mom you know it's okay to rest balance is key and once you feel like you've gotten your rest you're ready to work again then get back to it you know but we have to allow ourselves to get a break and that's something that i struggled with watching motivational videos or like cleaning videos or people on youtube like get their lives together inspires me to get my life together i just got done watching as leah williams new video and she like cleaned her closet and she cleaned her room in particular she cleaned her fan in her video she was like this probably gonna make y'all want to clean y'all fan and she was right i looked up at my fan i said that boy dusty i went on ahead and cleaned my fan because she cleaned her fan that's another reason why i just like youtube we are able to connect with people around the world that aren't just celebrities that aren't just who already are rich are able to see the journey of people's lives and honestly that's more interesting than just watching a show of rich people i need to clean my eyelashes up i'm using this lash it loud by um elf of course i think i want to add just a little bit more blush um to my nose burt's bee stick i don't know if you couldn't tell but i like blush I'm going to use these three lip liners. They're by Shikori. I got these off of TikTok shop. I really do like these pencils. Now I'm going to go in with this Revolution Makeup Super Fix Super Hold Misting Spray. So yeah, this is how the look turned out nice glowy dewy for the fall this wasn't your ordinary get ready with me i decided to rearrange my room on a random tuesday afternoon bye 